Iga Swiatek has been a saving grace for the 2022 WTA season. The season began with Ash Barty solidifying her status as a dominant world number one, and then promptly retiring. But few could have predicted how quickly the void atop the women's game would be filled. Between mid-February and early July, Sviantek won 37 straight matches, spanning six titles. Although everyone would have benefited from a long-term sviantek barty rivalry, Sviantek's rise made Barty's departure easier to swallow. So what exactly has made Iga Sviantek the most dominant player on the tour in 2022? Iga Sviantek had just picked up win number 33 of her streak in the Roland Garros quarterfinals, a 6-3, 6-2 win over world number 11 Jessica Pagula. Pagula is one of the most cerebral players on tour and usually willing to give expansive answers to the media after wins and losses alike. Quote, to be honest, she kind of plays like a guy. And I mean that as Ash was a similar way where they don't play like a typical girl where they hit kind of flat and the ball kind of goes through the court. She plays a little more unorthodox in the fact that she has a really heavy forehand. She kind of plays like a guy. Let's unwrap that. The forehand-centric aggressive baseliner has been one of the most common player prototypes on the ATP Tour since the 2010s. Many men have customized their patterns of play and their footwork to set up violent topspin forehands from the back of the court. That style hasn't been as prominent in the women's game, where flat, aggressive backhands are more common than big, looping forehands. But Sviantek says she always wanted to play differently. Quote, I didn't watch tennis too much when I was young. The only player who fascinated me was Rafael Nadal. I mainly watched men's tennis and Nadal's matches. I guess I copied my style of play from him. I like to hit balls with a lot of topspin. My first trainer also told me it was unusual for a girl to play with topspin. He advised me to focus on it because one day it will be a great strength. And it certainly has been. No tennis player becomes great just because of one shot, but the Sviantek forehand is the best in the world. Pam Shriver recently called it the most feared shot in women's tennis right now, replacing Serena's serve. Pagula describes Fiontech's forehand as really heavy. So what exactly does that mean? Well, every shot has a component of pace and spin. Heaviness is a term generally used to combine both into one neat categorization. It takes a tremendous amount of racket head acceleration to maintain high levels of topspin without sacrificing speed and vice versa. A shot that possesses both is heavy, and Sviantek has the heaviest forehand on the WTA Tour. In her breakout run at Roland Garros 2020, Sviantek led all women averaging 3,200 revolutions per minute on forehand winners. That forehand RPM would have ranked 7th among top 50 men last season. In the speed department, she averaged 118 Ks, or 73 miles per hour, Yannick Sinner was the only player, male or female, to average faster. Combining pace and spin this well is significant for two reasons, damage and consistency. Damage refers to winners and forced errors. Ground strokes with higher speed are more likely to be unreturnable when well-placed. And while balls slow down after hitting the court surface, heavy topspin reduces that effect on most surfaces, especially clay. This creates the sensation of the ball jumping or flying off the court when it bounces. Opponents generally find the ball harder to time and control when forced to return a heavy ball, especially on the rise. Consistency refers to the rate at which a shot lands in play, and topspin is critical here. There's a reason why most players hit flat on their first serves and topspin on their second serves. Topspin creates forces that cause the ball to dive down into the court. Knowing this, Players who hit heavy topspin can play the ball with a higher trajectory, creating more distance between the top of the net and the ball when it crosses. This is known as net clearance. With modern levels of topspin, players can hit the ball at high speeds with plenty of net clearance and still avoid hitting long. The shot is unlikely to miss, it is therefore repeatable, but it's also damaging. That's the modern baseliner's ideal. And there's not a single ground stroke on the WTA Tour that has achieved this to the level of Sviantek's forehand. Just as Nadal has spent decades using his forehand, the heaviest on the ATP Tour, to dominate opponents with high margin aggression, Sviantek's forehand is just as revolutionary. And come to think of it, 
revolutions have a lot to do with it. For Baseline Media, I'm Gil Gross.